I might be extremely late to the party in terms of making a tutorial about a movie that has been out for 21 years. But I do not really care, so let's get going. First, let's discuss the practical side of today's tutorial, and then we will move to Da Vinci. In case you've lived under a rock for the past 20 years, actually 21, we are going to recreate this scene from Harry Potter, where Harry is choosing a magic wand. It is easy to notice that the light above him increases its intensity when Harry takes this particular wand in his hand, and Win is being introduced in here as a marker of how powerful and important this wand is. Thankfully, these two things are easy to recreate even when shooting alone. All you need is a couple of lights, a leaf blower, an extension cord with a button, and a leg to activate it. So position your camera on a tripod, creating a slightly low angle to make yourself or your subject seem more important. Then position your key light. Now you'll see stand to position a second light above your subject and reduce the color temperature of this light, making it warmer. Then I connected a leaf blower to an extension cord and supported it with a gun. You might prefer to use some different method, though. The second light will be controlled remotely via an app. So I need to raise the magic wand, then turn on the leaf blower using my foot, and at the same time increase the intensity of the second light to its maximum value, then turn off the blower and reduce the intensity to zero. After a couple of tries, this cumbersome procedure turned out okay. Once we have the footage that we need, let's head to Fusion. As usual, throw your video clip onto a timeline and trim it to the needed length. Now head to Fusion. Harry's wand was not glowing, but I thought it would be fun to make it glow. Obviously, if we want our glow to follow the tip of the wand, we need to track it, so let's do it. Control spacebar and type planet tracker. Make a shape around the tip of the wand, change type to translation, click set reference frame, and track both directions. Now press create planet transform and move it aside. Now I'm going to use footage from Films Rights extension pack. Link will be in the description. Let's drag it onto our timeline. For some reason, Planet Tracker doesn't work if I try to create a fusion clip or a compound one. This means that we have to color grade our footage later, which is going to affect the look of our effects, and it also means that the footage that we edit right now has no idea why we are starting from frame 3415. So we need to change some parameters. Click on our effect footage and change global in and out values to the ones of our footage. Change the trim parameter, change whole last frame to zero and click loop. Now we need to trim it, because otherwise it is going to disappear and appear while it loops. Now let's connect it and add resize node to automatically change resolution. Add our tracking data and use Merge to move it to the needed position. Add color corrector to change the color of our effect. Trim everything to the needed length and animate Merge node to make our effect appear and dim gradually. Now add a transform node to animate slide zoom in effect to make it more dramatic. Color grade it and add sound effects. And that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.